right call to these units because they're um, when they start up they're taking too much um, power making the voltage drop and it's um, causing the um, feeders in the parlour and the milking parlour to uh, turn off um, and the guy has to reset them this is also making the lights dim um, in single phase here so it's 240 volt um, live to neutral um, it's been really not really got enough power to run what he wants to run ideally you'd have three phase um, so what we're going to check is the uh, capacitors see what they're doing We've had problems with them before. Right, we check the voltage first, that's on the incoming um, supply. Got nothing there. It is turned off, but you, you never know. Somebody could have ripped the innards out of the switch, which I've seen a few times when the switch goes wrong rather than put them well. Probably to get them going, they, they uh, take the innards out and then forget to come back and put a new switch on there. It's 39.2 and it should be 40, so that's, uh, that's really in spec. The other one is a 10, but I, I think this might be on the fan motor. So it could just be one unit, it might not be even both of them that's causing the problem. Could be the start capacitors, I suppose. We're going to check those. Let's see, this should be a 10. 9.6, so it's Okay, it's within tolerance. It's a ten, and this one's a five. So it might well be a. What have we got here. not doing anything is it? Let's make sure we've got a good connection. No, well that one's gone bad. Uh, that's uh, that's that one there, it's only a five. So uh, I mean even even seized up those motors only pull about two or three amps so I mean I doubt that's the problem. Um, see it's a bit it's a bit all jammed in inside there. Anyway, yeah, we'll uh, get that wire put back on there. We'll change that one anyway. Uh, let's check this. There should be. This is a 160 to 200. It's a start cap, so there's quite a wide range. So 190, that's within within the range. So that should be okay. And this other one is about 80 to 110. So that one, let's check that one. Um, that's right in the middle. Um, What you will get is if one of them shorted out, it'll because a lot of them are running parallel, it will short the whole lot out. But this this one is looking um, okay at the moment, so we'll we'll move on to the other one. All right, let's go and turn it on, see what happens. Um, 
I've only changed a couple of fan capacitors, five microfarads. All the others check out okay. So I've not really found any reason why it should be um, pulling too much current on startup. Yeah, well that's gone off on something and I was expecting it to keep running. Um, so that can only be... Pressure switch. There's nothing else on there. So I'm going to turn that one off. <coughs> that fan don't sound too good for some reason. That blade seems pretty far set back, so that might have something to do with it. And that one's set far too forward. That's about all right. Yeah, just had the switch cut back in. So it's on off a low pressure switch for some reason. So that might be the problem. If it's cycling a lot, that would, would dip the voltage down. Let's try this one. Mm -hmm. 